good morning, y'all. Anthony Mitch here. All right, I'm on the sign about Causeway and traffic is horrible. Someone make a video because we're like, they're stop and go, stop and go. So, all right. Well, I just finished reading on Grant Cardone's The Wealth Creation Formula. And it's pretty interesting. Makes a lot of valued points. And it distills a lot of myths that society has, like diversification. Like, I've known this for a while, but after reading the way he and how he worded it, yeah, I decided to screw all that. I sold a lot of my, like, $20 or $50 in under assets I have. They're producing, like, two or three cents in dividends. Yeah, it was a little bit of the compounds are going, whatever. But if you want to play the big boy game, you got to make big boy investments. So I like his whole little philosophy. Set a critical um, mass target. A number you have to set aside before you start investing. So, I'm going to start funneling my money into my high yield savings account just to keep on the compound in there until I hit the number I want. Then I'll start branching off into creating multiple flows. And I love his little principle out of 36 inches. And until you hit your critical mass, don't invest in anything outside of 36 inches. So if you want to go to a seminar or you want to go to training and all that stuff, that's within your 36 inches. That's in your control. You get to meet people. You get a network. You get to connect with people. So stuff like that, that's perfectly fine to invest in. But as far as like different stocks, if you're in the Bitcoin, real estate, all that stuff, wait until you got some money to play with. And then you go into it. So I, I love that concept. So I, I did some reallocations of my funds, my investments, and I still got some. And I've heard this from multiple people, like retirement accounts are freaking stupid. Um, for me, it's a meth. Um, I'll teach you to be rich. Talks about it. Karen Cardone talks about it. Uh, who's the other guy? Another financial dude talks about like. They're just traps to get you to store away or soak away your money until later on in life. And while your money is being stored, the banks are using that money to make them more money. So it's just a trap set by Wall Street that make you think you're going to live the American dream. Screw saving your way to the retirement. That's filled so many people. That's why you see so many 80 or 90 year old people at Walmart, Publix. Create cash flow. When you have enough cash flow coming in, it doesn't matter how much money you saved, your cash flow is going to pay for your expenses. You're good. But you got to go, you got to be disciplined to stay away from getting um, in, intrinsic or um, intoxicated into all these little fancy things. I mean, I've, like I said, at one point I probably had over 200 different investments. They're all paying me measly little dividends, but I think in my stash account, over the three years I've had it, I think it paid me less than a thousand dollars in dividends, which is still not bad. I only had a couple grand in there, but still, if I would have just put all that money in the, like one vehicle, it would all come out of it a lot bigger. So the diversification kind of stupid, and I agree. Now, also I've sent out the uh, this morning. Someone I signed on TikTok, I tried to send her the overview for um, my home based networking business, but TikTok blocked it. So she texted me this morning and I texted her only for her to watch that. My friend down in Naples, uh, she's going through a three step system. She's on step three. So I sent her the, the home based networking overview video, the opportunity video. She watched it yesterday and went to hear back from her. We're just going to watch tomorrow. So talk about it there. Because like I said, if you do not have the lifestyle you want and you don't have a crap load of capital to invest or set aside, does it that matter? Like with the wealth creation board, they're going to say like a job, like most million, I think it was 80% of millionaires last year became millionaires working for somebody else. So it's true. If you don't neglect your job, set money aside every paycheck to eventually invest. Then the whole base networking business makes it better because as you're networking, building up your network, you're increasing your income, increasing your passive residual cash flow, and then all the extra earnings that you're earning there, 
put all that into your cash flow producing assets and you're golden so I said there is no reason if you want more life you're not building a whole base networking business none that's only if you want more out of life though most people say they want more but they're not willing to do anything about it if you're not willing to change what is currently not working for you to try something that has the potential I said that's all network marketing is you try it if you like it you keep doing it if it works for you keep doing it Give it, try it out for six months if you see nothing significant for six months well you're gonna be out a couple hundred bucks from buying your products or utilizing the services but if you're smart and you know it properly in six months you've got your services and your products covered and they're free so do it right network expand your contacts and add value to others and you're golden but i just got over the bridge so y'all have a wonderful day like subscribe comment share all that good youtube stuff and um let me know what you're doing about creating wealth in your life not getting rich creating wealth be great